Good morning. So today um, I'm going to just do a very quick um, packaging up of Snippet Pixie 1.5.3, uh, mainly as a test of my new setup, but um, just because I packaged up um, Snippet Pixie last night uh, and released the snap um, and submitted to the uh, elementary app center. Um, but now I need to just do the Nix package version. Um, so I'll just have a quick, uh, quick go at that. Um, we'll see how we go. So first up, I need to uh, get my VM up and running. The Nix. Uh, in there, I'll um, have to do a refresh um, of all the things. Um, I may even still have Snippet Pixie still installed from the last time I did. I did the next package package. Um, so I'll have to. Uninstall that. Um, so what have we got? Have I still got oh I've got alacrity in here still? That's cool. Okay, let's I've got Tmux set up. Let's see, it's been a while. I have. That's cool. And I do full screen. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. We we'll just do that. Okay. So uh, let's see what we've got here. Um, is it running? It is. Okay. So that means it's installed as well. So I need to stop that. Before I start packaging up. Okay, double check. Um, and that means I need to uninstall. So next thing minus E, I think snippet pixie. No, I'll probably need to do a sudo there as well. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see. Still there. Ah, uh, maybe I did a local one. Or did I install it at the top level? Oh dear, I don't know what I did with this last time. Oh dear, it's been a while since I used Nix. Um, let's have a quick check. Yeah, it's still there. Just check some stuff here. If I 
got it installed. I don't think that means I've got it in. I think that's just the service I need here. Okay. Oh, I do have it. Okay. All right, we'll take it out then. So that means, so it looks like my Nix setup, I do have it actually installed here at the top level, and I don't want that just now. Just to make sure that I can not get any conflicts although if I did a manual one it would actually override that but that's fine okay. Um, okay we'll do that just momentarily just a quick update this will take a little while So while that's running, I'll update my packages. So where are we? Fine. So that's me up to date with my own personal one. This is a checkout of uh, the next packages. I've gone upstream there. So I need to do, because I'm going to do a full refresh of the OS, make sure it's up to scratch because it's an unstable branch. Make sure this is as up to date as possible as well. Um, and then I will build a snippet pixie on that unstable base uh, to make sure everything's in sync. So uh, I need to do a git fetch with a prune of stream. That too might take a while. Oh, that's done. That's cool. So, did it say anything there? Everything looks to be okay. And snippet should be gone. It is good. Okay, that's snippet pixie uninstalled there. That's updated there. Get pull upstream faster. So I'm now not almost 10,000 commits behind on my uh, repo. It's a busy old thing. So get push that. Okay. Right. Um, So here I want to do, um, I want to get the OS up to date. So G 
channel I think it's update there we go oops so we'll get everything up to up to the latest If I run my updates again, it might have some stuff to do. Yep. That's fine. Oh, it looks like I need to remove quota. I believe he's no longer packaging it up in anywhere bar flat hub. So that will be gone. Don't need it for testing anymore. Bye bye, Quilter. I only used it for test and snippet picks anyway. Taking her while. All right, while I'm here, let's just see. So let's check, see what happens here. Two hours ago now, that's good. Well, the last um when did I do, when did I do my last one let's do author me end of May okay Was that three months? Yeah. I was doing a proper update now. Wonder why that's wonder why that's bigger than it was before. Okay. I will all that student's thing. I'll start doing the actual changes. So in here, I have my Nix file, first snippet pixie. And if I update this to version 3, on 5.3, and then if I just zero this out, that will cause it to fail to build. 
but it's a cheap, it's a quick and easy way of grabbing the hash that I actually need. So, but I need to wait until the OS is updated, and uh, I might do a quick reboot as well because I just want to make sure that everything's synced up before I do the build, so I can test it properly. I probably should have done this earlier because it is like. 10,000 commits behind. Um, so there's probably a good chunk of stuff that needs updating. No idea how long that's going to take. How much RAM did I give it? Oh, I only gave it 4 gigs of RAM as well. Probably should have gave it a little bit more. Are we on? No, we're into the X's now. For some stuff anyway. Okay. There's not much I can do until that's done, really. I'm kind of ready to turn it on. I don't think. I got it. Um, there's nothing I can do here, is there? Can't do the can't do a PR template. Biggest problem here is not so much the VM speed, I think probably just the download speed because that's a bunch of stuff being downloaded because it has been three months Is that me? June, July, or yeah, three months I can do maths with fingers While that's doing its thing, I'll just quickly check the uh, the manual. Uh, I can remember how. Contributing guy. That's probably for Nexus, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, Nexus. Okay. Next packages. Do the clone, done that. Do the, do the thing, do the thing. Uh, do the edit. Dum, 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 dum. And yes, so do the build. Next build minus A, and then it'll be snippet pixie.
and then I can give it a little install with install A. Save it pixie. Okay. When I did those pull requests, did I just do master? Or did I do a branch? I did. Just did master to master. Hmm. Might be better to do it that way, eh? Seems better, doesn't it? Okay, we'll do that. Uh, now I've got to remember how to do a git branch. Um, git branch. Uh, do I just do the name? I don't think so, because I want to base it on what I've got. I never do this on the command line. That's what IDEs are for. Create. So do I just do the minus C? So I'll just do a git branch. That should be fine. In theory. Git branch. Big C. One dot by dot B. Git branch. Switch. No, get switch, wasn't it? There we go. Good stuff. Okay, I'm ready to roll as soon as I'm updated. And we're updated. Good stuff. Right, no problems. Nope. Okay. Right, I'm going to do a quick save. Quick bounce to make sure I'm definitely running the latest and greatest. 
Hello. Oh, because Plasma is updated. It doesn't like it. <laughs> That's interesting. the problem with uh, Nixos sometimes it just catches you out with these things there we go that's new desktop I was playing with KDE uh, Neon the other day and that was really nice just struggled. All right, let's um, let's change that. Let's pick up that new one. Do like that. That is nice. Right. Um, let's get going on this then. So, first things first, Nix build. I've forgotten. Nix build. Is it? Minus I? No, A, of course. Attribute. Ugh. Do what? Well, that's new. Is I without a default value? Cannot alter call a function that has an argument without a default value. So I'm guessing something's changed there then. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Oh. I should have done all of this down here. Right. Yeah. Next build, minus A. Snip it, pixie. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Oh dear. Can I... Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. That's what I expected. Right, so now I have the hash. And I can wallop in here. Build it and it'll do it. In theory. Okay. Now install. Next time. Let's install. Minus F dot minus I A. Snip it. Pixie. Right, so that's a local environment one now. Do 
don't know whether that will find it. Yep. Hmm. No icon yet. But it runs. There we go. And that's the new thing there. That's that. So I can turn that on and off, can I? Oh. Interesting. Nix doesn't like GTK, does it, on the KDE? But that works. This will fail. That looks like it works, but then when you come back to it, I'll probably be gone. If I close it off. <laughs> There's no close buttons. Ugh. Obviously, the GTK stuff is not not working great on here. Hmm. And if I come back to it, has it lost it? Yeah, that's what I expect. Integration with KDE on Nixos is not good. I should probably have um, built this, probably should have used GNOME on here. Better test. Um, right, have I got though? I do. Right, okay. So the shortcut is up and running though. So in theory, it'll work. I'll give it a go. So, if I go, um, I'll stick and focus there. It's stealing focus, but at least it did it. Hmm. I think the next time I do a package, I'll I'll use GNOME or something as the Nixos desktop environment just so that I can make sure it kind of works as it should because it's a little bit weird with KDE on Nixos whereas I know it works fine on other environments other OS's so but that builds um, and does the thing so I'm good with that for the moment. Uh, so now, let's make sure we're good here. That's all we need to do. Okay, let's just package it up. the commit message I think it's update and then it's that 
that, isn't it? No, it's just that. Okay. Don't need to do update. Okay. Uh, Okay. I'm getting a little bit low on time, so I'm going to quickly finish that off now then. Let's get a shot of this. Yeah, it works now. Build on platform, yes. No, no, no. Yes, it is. Test fire one or more. So it says, yes, 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 blah blah blah. Nope. Test two completely package that depends on the change in each other. Nope. Kind of yes. No. 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 In theory, I guess. And that should be me. Update snippet pixie to version 153. I did that. I yes, I know I've got that set to my conf. I tested it and I believe it fits contributing. And I want to go for my snippet pixie 153 branch into their master. Done. And off it goes. Doing all the buildy builds. Right, well that was uh, not as quick as I expected it to be, but um, you always hit snags, don't you? <laughs> That's development. Um, so anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, uh, until next time, take care.